Wow. Well, come on up here, guys. These are my kids. Three to four, anyways. Um, hey, listen, this has been an incredible year, um, and it's just such an honor. I guess the first thing I want to do is take the opportunity to thank the people of Erie County who have entrusted me with their confidence to continue serving for the next four years as the Erie County District Attorney. So thank you all very much. <clears throat> you know, let me just, uh, these three of my four kids are here with me tonight and Jeremy mentioned my wife, um, my, my son Jack on the far left here, my son Michael and my daughter Grace um, are with me tonight and it's really an honor to, to stand here with them. My son Matthew is in college and, and he's out of town but he can't be here. And my wife is, is not able to be in the room because she's a judge. Um, and so she is, she's struggling because she really wants to be here. But, um, you know, it's really great to have my family with me. That's what I'm all about. Uh, you know, over the last eight years, I've truly come to appreciate how important and how deeply impactful the office of the Erie County District Attorney is to the people who call this community our home. You know, in, in the last year in particular, I've come to learn how incredibly diverse Western New York is, and in, in specifically Erie County. You know, I grew up in the Irish neighborhood in South Buffalo, and then I got to know the Italian neighborhood in, in North Buffalo. But this past year, I spent dozens and dozens of days in the east side of the city of Buffalo going to the Baptist churches. And then I went to the Hindu temple in Amherst, and then I went to the Grease Pole Festival, honoring the Hispanic community and their heritage. And I spent a lot of time with the Bangladesh community on the east side of the city of Buffalo. And I spent time with the Muslims in the, in the city of Lackawanna. And I went to a number of parades, the St. Patrick's Day Parade, the Dingus Day Parade, the Pride Parade, the Juneteenth Parade and Festival. And you know, as I've mentioned many times before, it's really my honor and privilege to work with the over 2,000 police officers and first responders that work here in Erie County. And that is a privilege to work with them every day. But you know, the diversity that I've experienced and come to know that exists in the city of Buffalo and across Erie County, it, it makes us special. It really does. And we are all proud of our own heritage and our own, our own cultures. But we all come together and we truly are the city of good neighbors. And I think we've all united, and I've seen that over the last year in, in having the opportunity to campaign across this county. We do all come together. And it's not just for the Buffalo Bills, although we love our Buffalo Bills. Let's go Buffalo. <clears throat> you know, let me just talk to you a little bit about what we do in the Erie County District Attorney's Office. Every day we deal with people who have been caught up in the criminal justice system, the victims, and the criminal defendants. And each victim wants justice on their case. And every defendant wants to be treated fairly. Justice and fundamental fairness must be pursued continuously and tenaciously by the people that work in the Erie County District Attorney's Office. And we do that every day. We readily accept the responsibility of this complexity and true justice is and always must be balanced. We do that every day. True justice is unapologetically tough when necessary, empathetic and merciful when called for, but in all circumstances, it has to be fundamentally fair. Coming from a really big family, I've talked about this all the time, it's really defined me, it's made me who I am. I learned justice is both personal and communal in my family and growing up in South Buffalo. And I stand on the shoulders of my mom and dad and their parents and their generations, the generations that preceded us. And I talk about the public service of my family all the time and Jeremy just mentioned it. I'm really proud of my parents. I'm really proud of my aunts and uncles. I'm really proud of all my cousins that serve this community as public servants. 
I have firefighters and police officers and nurses and teachers and elected officials that have come before me. And I'm so honored to follow in their footsteps. You know, the lessons I learned at home, how to treat people, have been passed along to my four kids, three of whom are here with me today. The importance of justice and fairness and how we treat each other with compassion and empathy, along with a commitment and determination to make this world, to make our community a better place. Those are the lessons I learned at home. Those are the lessons I teach my kids. And I promise to continue with that level of commitment as I run the Erie County District Attorney's Office for the next four years. So, so let me just, I gotta thank a number of people. You know, running a countywide campaign is, is monumental and you cannot do it. I certainly did not do it without the tremendous help of dozens and dozens of people. And I need to mention some of them. I know I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna leave people out, but I need to mention some people. First of all, Jeremy Zellner is an incredible leader and it's been my honor and privilege to get to know him as a friend. And I truly appreciate the confidence that he entrusted in me a year ago when he decided to support me. So thank you very much, Jeremy. Hey, Jeremy, I said thank you very much. Uh, you know, Kathy Callen is in the room somewhere. <laughs> Kathy runs my office. She's the chief administration for the Erie County District Attorney's Office and has been since John Flynn and I came back in the office in 2017. She's an incredible organizer, an incredible leader, and we could not run the office the way we do without her. But she's even better on the campaign trail. She's an unbelievable worker. She works 24 seven and I've never seen anybody accomplish what she can do in dealing with the challenges of a campaign. And she does it all with a smile on her face and she treats people so well. She's really, really incredible. And I'm blessed to have, have her, had her at my side for the last year. So thank you, Kathy. You know, I mentioned John Flynn and Jeremy mentioned John. John is one of my dearest friends and it was my honor and privilege to work with him for the last eight years. You know, I learned from John, I learned from a tremendous leader, I learned integrity, and I learned loyalty. And I'll never forget everything, John, that you have done for me, and you did for this community. And it was really my privilege to work beside you and watch you run the district attorney's office. And thank you for everything you've done, John. I really appreciate you, and I hope this community understands what a great leader you were. Kerry Saunders, who isn't here right now because he because he left, but he's been incredibly. He, you know, I mentioned the Baptist churches on the east side. Kerry got me into all the churches and and introduced me to the people the east side of the city of Buffalo. And Kerry is an invaluable asset on this campaign, and uh, and and I can't thank Kerry enough. Um, you know, a couple other people: Holly Park and Karen Byrne. Holly Park ran my social media. Let's give it a, give a shout out to Holly. <clears throat> and Karen Byrne thought she retired from Erie County, but then I recruited her to be my treasurer. Thank you, Karen. The paycheck wasn't as good when you were working for the county, but thank you for everything, Karen. That's an incredible job you did. Bobby Graber, I don't know if Bobby's in the house, but Bobby did all our design work for all our printing um, and everything that was put out by the Erie County, uh, Erie County Democratic Committee. So thank you, Bobby. Um, Cheeto Alvencia. cheeto has been around for a long time. And he, he helped me get around the, on the west side of the city of Buffalo and the Hispanic community. So thank you, Cheeto, if you're in the house. <clears throat> um, you know, the Erie County Democratic Committee, Jake and Siobhan and all the people on the staff there, they work tireless and long hours. And thank you for everything that you guys did for me. Jerry runs, Jeremy runs a great office, but he couldn't do it without the great people that work for him. You know, John Gilmore, I don't know if John's in the house, but John, thank you very much for your friendship your loyalty, and thank you for all the help you provided me in, in, in developing and, and cementing the relationships that we worked with, um, with the Buffalo Police Department and all of the police agencies that supported me. Jeremy mentioned some of them, but I gotta mention John Evans and Bobby Joyce from the Buffalo Police Department's PBA, along with Roscoe and Frank and many others with the Buffalo PBA. I also had the support of the Erie County Sheriff's PBA, Town of Tonawanda Police, Amherst Police, New York State Police. I think I saw Charlie. Charlie, you still in the house? <clears throat> I 
There's so many, I can't even mention them all, you know. And we also had tremendous support from labor outside of the police agencies. Peter DeJesus, I saw a little while ago. Peter, thank you very much for your support and your endorsement with West, Western New York uh, Area Labor Federation and all of the other unions. I'm not going to mention them all. I had 25 labor organizations support me, and we could not do this without labor. So thank you, labor. <clears throat> There's a number of people from my office that are here, the Erie County District Attorney's Office. You know, we got 200 people that work for us, and the people that helped me on the campaign did, the, did so, you know, as volunteers. We were very careful not to ask anybody to get involved that didn't want to be involved, but I had tremendous support, and I just want to mention some of them, um, and I'm sure I'm going to leave people out, but I couldn't possibly go through all of them. Um, you know, Kate, Natalie, Natalie, all the investigators, as a matter of fact, Lauren, Mara, John Farolato, Rebecca, Gary, Sylvia, Nia, many of them are in the house and so many more. You know, we did a lot on this campaign. You know, we started a year ago trying to recruit volunteers. We started with petitions. We did all those parades that I mentioned. We had, we had many, many fundraisers. We made phone calls. We did this texting app that Kathy came up with and my son Matthew, who's in Colorado, found the app that worked so tremendously and allowed us to, the ability to reach out to people. And, and finally, we were at polling places for the last week. So I couldn't have done it without, without all the volunteers, and I really appreciate all their support. You know, there's two other people I want to mention. Um, well, one, one, one is Zanita Everhart. I don't know if, I don't know if Zanita, Zanita's in the house. Is Zanita here? You know, Zanita Everhart went through an incredible tragedy with her son, and I'm not going to get into it any more than that, but she has showed me compassion and strength and I cherish her friendship, and I cherish the support that she showed me in the last year in getting to know her and becoming a close friend of hers. So thank you, Zanetta. And finally, Paul Joyce and Tony Colucci. I couldn't have done this without all your help. You guys were there for me time and time again, and I really appreciate all your support. So I'm gonna wrap up by just talking about my family one last time. You know, you know this is a long, hard campaign, and we had a lot of hard work by so many people, including all my family. As I mentioned, my aunts and uncles, my cousins, nieces and nephews, I can't mention them all. Margaret and Mickey, I know Mickey's here and I think my Aunt Ellen is here as well. And Kate and Sheila, maybe, hey, there you are. Thank you guys. Um, you know, some of my siblings are here. My brothers, Neil, Dick and Pat were tremendously helpful along the way. And I can't thank you enough. I know Pat's in the house because I saw him earlier. Thank you, Pat. Um, and then, you know, my wife's family, which we often refer to as the village. Um, and when that started when my, wife, when my wife Lynn ran for office for the first time in 2011 in Orchard Park. And, you know, we're led by our matriarch, Joyce, Joyce, as we call her. Thank you, Joyce. And Debbie and Tracy and Jill, and there's so many others, I'm gonna leave people out. Um, but, you know, I could not do it without the love and support of my family. And, you know, that includes the village, of course. Finally, my four kids, Michael, Jack, Matthew, and Grace. And, you know, Michael, Jack, and Grace were able to get home uh, last night. And, you know, some of them have been able to come in the last couple of weekends, flying in from college and from their jobs in New York City to help on the, on the uh, working at the polling places to get out the vote um, and to make sure that we had a presence at some of the early voting polling places. And I can't thank my kids enough. You know, I'm so proud of all my kids, but seeing the way that they dropped what they were doing and came to, you know, support me uh, in this, you know, most critical time, the last couple of weeks of this campaign has been incredible. So thank you guys very much. I love you. Um, <clears throat> you know, my wife who can't be here is really my rock. She's my soulmate, she's my inspiration. She's the hardest working person I know, even Kathy Callen, even Tim Kennedy. You know, I, I, I think I forgot to mention Tim Kennedy. My God, I spent so many days with Tim Kennedy over the last year. He's an incredible worker. He has sacrificed so much for his family and I really attach myself to Tim. You know, he's really been a mentor to me, um, even though he's quite a bit younger than me. Tim is a role model and I cannot thank him enough for everything that he did for me. Um, but, you know, 
my wife is an incredible, incredible human being. She just, you know, radiates positivity, and I couldn't be here without her, and I wouldn't be here without her. So thank you, Lynn. I love you. You know, finally, I'm going to mention my mom and dad. Um, you know, I want to skip back to them because, you know, a number of people, including, I think, my Aunt Mickey earlier tonight, said, you know, your mom and dad would be so proud of you. Um, and I, that's what I strive for. You know, it's an honor to, um, you know, walk in their footsteps. And I hope to live up to the legacy that they started years and years ago. You know, as I mentioned, public service is really in my blood. You know, I, I do this job because I love this community. I love Buffalo. I love Western New York. We are a special place. Uh, we really are. And the people of this community is why we're special. So it's my honor and my privilege to continue to serve you and to continue to work for you. And uh, thank you again so very much, all of you.